hi and welcome back in the previous video i showed you how to install and configure sql server my sql server on your system and also install my sql workbench which is what i have right here in this video we're going to be connecting our power bi to this workbench i mean to this database my sql database and then start building our visualization start analyzing our data the first thing you should do right now is you can see an instance database that we have that is running you can click on this plus just to see as if you want to add a new connection and you will observe that there's an ip here which is 127.0.0.1 just copy it because this is your server is on your local machine and that is the server and this is the port so if you are in a, your organization you will need to provide the server ip address when you are making that kind of connection to a database server okay and this is the username that i've been i've created this in the previous video and this uh yeah and the password is stored in vault so for you you should also have yours available so i'm going to cancel then go back to power bi if you follow the steps by step that i gave last time then you know you'll be fine right here and everything i have to do from here you also have to do that so how do we connect from power bi just go to data get data then go to more because we want to get from my sql database that is database of interest and right here all i have to do just set my type my sql so that is going to filter it and that's the database right here i'm going to select it and then click on connect good so you're going to see this because there's a component you need to install except you didn't follow the steps that we followed now you see oh we might be having this error how do i get it solved just click on learn more it's going to take you to microsoft uh or my sql website where you can now download that connector that is needed for windows and this is the exact connector so i'm going to click on download i'm just you know no thanks just start my download all right my download is done and completed i just have to click on it just so that i can open it all right follow the prompt next typical i'm going to select this guy click install yes all right so it's installed and i'm done so i have to go back again to power bi click on ok then get data set more search my sql select it then click on it right here it's working you can see server i'm going to put my server that's the ip address that we copied and the deba database i'm connecting to is actually circular if i didn't put any database it's going to load everything so let's not put one and let's just okay it need actually a valid database so circular how do i know circular so let's go back to our workbench if i log in here and you're going to see if you come to schema you will see database this is the word this is system database this is a sample database that we installed and this is Aquila. so i wish we have some tables under it with the business we're going to talk about it later in this or you know series right back here i'm going to put Aquila. i'm going to click on okay it will request for authentication because need me to put in details so i'm going to put database detail name user name is root and the password so I've put the password, I'm going to click on connect. It's done connecting. You see, I'm back to Sakila and I have all the tables on Sakila. They are right here, including the views. So these are tables, but these guys are views. So if I come back to Sakila, you can see these are tables and these are the views. So they also have views. All right. So, I mean, let's just select three or four tables right here. Customer, select actor select theme uh maybe this is okay uh staff list of course you can transform but right there you just want to load so i'm going to click on load it's going to apply those settings and load those data creating and establishing the connection right now awesome by the right hand side there do you see we have all the tables uh, if i go to the table view right here you see all the tables with the information are here and many of them present use cases for data cleaning interesting one right okay i know you are looking forward to how 
we're going to work with this data so in the whole series we'll be importing just more than not just this table but more tables and i'll explain the business behind the circula the kind of solution we can solve with it and we we'll then create solution around it as well thank you and bye